everyone. My name is Dale Danker, president of TWU Local 514. Here with me today, I have Marla Johnson, the vice president here at TWU Local 514. Joe Brown, chairman of maintenance. Yeah. So we're just wanting to kind of catch you up to date on a few things. It's been a, a month or better since we've done a video. So Marla, you can go first. Yeah. So Thanksgiving's coming up next week. Today was the deadline, so you probably won't see this video until tomorrow. So hopefully you all got signed up to how you want to take that off. Um, there only will be a few people in MLS and facility maintenance and inspection that will be working the holidays. So make sure that you realize that and do not show up to work on one of those holidays when you're not supposed to be there. Uh, we have new AMTs starting to be onboarded November 27th. So they will be going into hangars five and six and one, two, and three. They will be working day shift and, and be doing some OJT with people on the floor. So be looking for that. We're gonna they're gonna be trying to bring in as many as they can get cleared through the background checks as soon as possible so we can because we're revving up for the engine expansion. Also, Christmas. So the company is telling us that they are going to maintain the minimum allotment in most of the areas on base for Christmas. We no longer have base shutdown, so we can't call it base shutdown. It is actually just Christmas week. So make sure if you have extra vacation that you're hanging on, that you're wanting to use, you might not be available to use. So make sure those are day at a times because the day at a times you will get paid out for at the end of January. And, you know, we continue to work grievances. We have GRB coming up second week of December. Dale's pushing me and my grievance committee to have at least 20 grievances going to the GRB. So please work with your shop stewards, your union representatives, your executive board officers, and get the information they need so we could get those brought forward. Yes, I'm gonna to add to one thing that Marla said. So if you're a new hire, hopefully you're subscribing to this channel and you're getting these notifications when we put out these video updates. Um, but if you're if you're a new hire and you come to work, what's happened? This happened. So it's Veterans Day, and if you're a veteran, it's in my little thing to say. But since Saturday was Veterans Day, if you served our country in any of our service in any of our branches of uh, military service, thank you. Um, big sacrifice that you make and your family made. Thank you. But to the new hires, maybe the the folks that might not know, if you come to work. And you come into your building and your work area and there's no one there there's a reason for that either the e either it's veterans day and we're off that day or the building's on fire but but ask around maybe if you're a new hire or if you're um someone that has new hires in your area please have them put their crew chief cell phone number in their in their phone i mean if you come into work don't sit there for eight hours and there's nobody in the building there's, there's a problem, and we, we're we not going to get you paid if it's a day that you're supposed to be off. So that's why Marla had mentioned that. So, Joe, you want to go next? Bud? Yeah, so uh, I have some safety items I would like to talk about. The company is looking for 15 new ERT people. They would like for you to be on the off shifts, nights, weekends, uh, Tuesday, Wednesdays off, stuff like that, before they're going to train you. So if you're interested in that, Please get with me and I will get you that contact. Uh, a few other safety issues that we have, the phone systems are not working right now. So if you try and dial 911 through the phone systems, it's possibly not gonna work. If it doesn't work, use your cell phone. When you're clearing airplanes, if you can't hear yourself on the intercom system, it probably did not work. So before you do any movement and chop fingers off, go make sure that the planes are clear. Uh, if you're a new hire and you're in, say, a cleaning area and you're not sure how to fill a tank, get help. Don't just start turning valves. Uh, you might overfill it or you might fill it with something that doesn't uh, work in that tank. So make sure you get help before you do something like that. Uh, there's the parking lots and the ramps. There's a lot of construction going on. People are moving barricades for shorter walks. The barricades are there to keep you from getting hurt. Please do not move the barricades. Take the time. Go around. Um, 
the southwest side of Hangar 6. South side, southeast side. Anyway, south side of Hangar 6. Uh, the turnstiles are going to be shut down for a little bit. So plan for a little bit longer walk so that you're not late for work. What else? Um, that is, I believe, all I have. Thank you, Joe. Um, for me, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about Article 9 in the contract book. That's transfers. And um, there's a paragraph 9FF, and that's for Tulsa only. And what that was intended to do was eliminate the 12.1 in the previous contract where they would freeze the transfer memorandum and, and move people. They would shut work down, and another dock or another work area would come up, and they would they would move those people, and it would prevent um, having to be rift. And that was the intent of 9FF. So here in Tulsa, and I've, I've – filed the presidential grievance, took it to the GRB, got denied by the company. So it's sitting in the pile of my my presidential grievances, a ton of other grievances, uh, other locals, lots of grievances on this new contract. Um, and we won't ever get to all of them to arbitration. We'll have to try to deal, it, deal with them again in the next round of negotiations. But 9FF um, is utilized in Tulsa when there is a surplus of people and a need in another area so uh, um, if you have you're going to open up a new dock some new work they can take people out of one area and give them the right to move to that new work without being rift or without saying hey we're going to open up 50 new positions in tulsa and putting that out to the system 50 people um, in my example, 50 people move into Tulsa, and then they have a surplus that they say they were going to rift, and then 50 people got to take a new, you know, go find a new address or, or hit the street. So, the intent of the language was well intended uh, to get the job done to keep people from getting rift. The problem that we we're seeing again, and we've seen in the past, and why the reason I took it down to the GRB. Um, it's being utilized for reasons that were not intended. And, and Jim, if you're watching this video, if you're sitting down at DFW and you're watching this, they're using 9FF in an area because the bid area is the overtime area. And so if you're going to pull overtime in that bid area, what do you do? You go to the overtime list, you ask for the low hours, and you go up the list. And they don't like paying people that within three and a half years, they have not got everybody in that area trained. So they have to pull overtime. They have to run the list. They have to ask people overtime and go have them do work that's not needed for the overtime. And then go to the, till they get the guys they need and they go work the overtime that's needed. So I took this to you and I explained it to you in detail. They're going to use 9FF to bust an area up because they don't like the way the overtime article states how you have to call overtime. It was not what 9FF was negotiated for. It's frustrating. In another area, hopefully we can um, fight this one off, but in another area, they're going to use 9FF because they don't like shift swaps. They, the company. They don't like the confusion of having guys work on an airplane in a dock in a hangar and then they might shift swap with someone and those guys that's working on say like a 737 shift swap and go work on a 787 we've told them time and time again they could leave those guys on that airplane that's what the i am it's how they explained it to me they could leave those guys there so jim they are using 9ff to do end rounds in other areas of the contract that they can't figure out how to manage. It's frustrating. Um, to those that might bid in the engine shop, just know that when they increase the volumes in the engine shop, I'm hopeful they leave the shift and days off patterns like they are. But I also know that they might say, well, to get that many volume out, we've got to change the shift, days off, and then they'll be shoving people on weekend coverage and Tuesday, Wednesday off, like in AO, which is a chaotic mess. Um, I wish they would take a challenge somewhere, do away with the Tuesday, Wednesday, do away with that turnover pattern, and, and just try to put guys on Friday, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, Monday. But so far, 
they don't like to listen to the union's ideas about how to do anything, and they've got their bean counters, and they say, nope, it's not effective. So if you're going to go to the engine shop, just beware that you might slide over there into what seems like a retirement shop, and all of a sudden they pull the cord and boom, now you're on a shift and day off pattern that's worse than where you came from. Just I'm just, we know the company, so just be heads up about that. Um, I still have out there Raleigh Reeves, our um, M&R rep, is uh, trying to get where I can get my dodgeball case seen in ar arbitration. So there's a lot of things tied to that from other locals, and he's got to sort through that. So as I get more information about that, um, I'll, I'll let you know what's going on with it. Um, WR, if you're trying to go get a job that requires you to provide work experience to qualify for the job it has to be verifiable and the company owns that they own the wr process so I, I have people come to me and say dale i worked in this job and and so and so at that company might would write a letter i've got a paycheck that says i work there just remember it has to be verifiable so just like at this company i have a paycheck that says how much i make from american airlines it doesn't say what my job function is. So you have to be able to prove that. Um, last couple of little things. Um, we have an adult party coming up. It's closed. So if you had an opportunity to register to come to that. If you are, are coming, I'll see you there Saturday, I think. Um, we haven't had something like this in quite some time. Um, I'm looking forward to being able to visit with everybody in more of a casual setting. And if you don't typically come to a membership meeting, pick you out one and come to it um just had one early for november so we've got one more december and then we got 12 opportunities next year and each meeting has three opportunities so hope to see you at the adult party or hopefully at a union meeting sometime soon or out walking the floor thank y'all